Godspeed. Ahoy, all of you flick freaks out there. What is going on? My name is Andrew, and we are here with another trailer reaction. Today we're going to be watching a trailer for the upcoming film Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. This is, of course, a J.K. Rowling novel. It takes place seven years before Harry Potter is actually even reading Newt Skymander's books. And playing Newt, we have Eddie Redmayne, who we know from The Danish Girl, The Theory of Everything, Jupiter Ascending. He's a brilliant actor. I wouldn't know about Jupiter Ascending, but the other movies, yeah, he won an Oscar for Theory of Everything. Uh, the movie also stars Ezra Miller, who's going to be playing The Flash. It has Colin Farrell in it, John Voight. Uh, Ron Perlman's going to be in this. Um, like I said, it takes place 70 years before Harry Potter has read Newt's book, and I'm not going to lie, don't get mad, never read a single Harry Potter book or any of J.K. Rowling's books. I've watched all the movies, and that's that's it. And I know before everybody tells me the books are better, I don't have time. Even for audiobooks, I don't have time. But uh, for this... We're going to jump right into this and see what they have for us. So, Oh, I should also say it's directed by David Yates, who gave us all the last four Harry Potter movies. So, um, yeah, and he's also going to be doing Tarzan, or The Legend of Tarzan, which we did the trailer reaction for last week, and I think that looks fantastic. So now we can jump right into this trailer and see what they have for us. So here we go. Lumos Maxima. Lumos Maxima. That was cool. I guarantee you this trailer is going to be playing right this before Harry or uh, Star Wars. A case full of magical creatures. And unfortunately, some have escaped. Colin Farrell, big fan. Of New York, I think, right? It was open? Just a smidge. Mr. Scamander! November. Damn. It's a ways off. Almost 11 months. But still, damn, that's a ways off, especially for a trailer like that. Will I go and see this? Absolutely. I was a huge fan of the Harry Potter movies. And you know what? Since it's coming out in November, it gives me plenty of time to read all of the books if I do have time. A uh, couple things. It's just a teaser, so you don't get too much. I don't know. Is it officially labeled as a teaser? I don't know. Anywho, uh, yeah, I am definitely intrigued. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I r think I read somewhere this one takes place around New York. So I could be wrong on that, but I think I read somewhere that, that, that it takes place in New York. You don't get to see much Colin Farrell. I'm not for sure if he's going to be playing the villain or not. He kind of had an ominous look to him. Of course, Eddie Redmayne is going to be the protagonist in this. And I do really like him. And I just from the glimpse there, you don't get to see too much of him, but it was enough for me to get interested in the character. So I'm definitely intrigued, and I want to read the books now. The Fantastic Beast books. And I do want to read all the Harry Potter books, don't get me wrong. But uh, CGI looks really good. One thing, I don't like the fact that they released this trailer so early. If they're trying to get people hyped, that's an issue that I think uh, 
Batman v Superman ran into. They released the trailer too soon. And it's kind of something that you see a shit ton in the video game industry. If you look at Ubisoft's The Division, they announced and showed trailers for that game three years ago now. Wasn't it three years ago? Two or three years. Anyway, insanely too long. And now the game's getting pushed back again. So, fuck. God. Don't release trailers. I think the perfect time to release a trailer, even for a big movie, is seven months. Seven months is the perfect for a huge movie. Seven months, get that hype train rolling. You can build hype for a movie without a trailer. I don't think studios realize that. You can build hype for a movie without a trailer. And then seven months before the movie, if it's a huge movie, even like Star Wars or this or Batman v Superman or Captain America, seven months. That's when you release that first teaser. And then a couple months later, the official trailer. And then a couple months after that, second trailer. And then you start doing your TV spots after that for, okay, now the movie's coming out in less than a month. That's the perfect way to do that, I think. So I could be wrong. Post your comments down below. Let me know how wrong I am. And we will end the video there. Thank you to everybody for watching. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button right there. And if you check up in the top right corner, you're going to see a little card icon. One of those will take you over to the Game Geeks channel where we're playing Fallout 4 right now. The other one will take you over to the Flick Freak store if you need t-shirts, coffee mugs, phone tablet cases. We have it all. We have a Patreon campaign where every dollar put in there gets put directly back into the channel to make it better. Because we're all going to make this channel better together. We will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Help us reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We have a little over 200 subscribers to go. I think we can do it. I know we can do it. It's going to be a piece of cake. 15 days to get a little over 200 subscribers. I'm confident in you guys. So thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. Until next time, Godspeed to 10,000 subscribers. Great, because a former decorated member of the United oh States God. Marine Corps needs your support. Oh, no. And his name is John. <laughs> 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 Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>